No, John, I can't do that. Ah, oh, come on, Dwight. Give me another chance. No, you can't change my mind. I didn't do anything. It wasn't my fault. John, I was there and I saw it happen. Yeah, come on in. Door's open. Hey, Dwight, what's up? Hey look. hey, look, it's Arthur from next door. Well, come on in, Arthur. Hey, Robert, you remember Arthur from next door. Oh, yes, yes, I remember. You're, you're the musician. You, you play the violin. No, I play the drums. I, I was close. Hey, Dwight, let's let Arthur decide. No! Decide what? Well, you see, John's wanting to get back up on stage. You, you know, I've been going over here to Hyena's Comedy Club, uh, their open mic night, been testing out a few jokes, trying to pick up some women and whatnot. Well, the other night, I made the mistake of taking John along with me. You should have seen me, Arthur. <laughs> I had them rolling on the floor. Oh, they were on the floor, all right. They weren't rolling. See, John wants me to let him go back up and try stand-up comedy again. Was it that bad? Nah. I used all my years of showbiz experience and really knocked them out. They leapt to their feet in a standing ovation. Oh, they leapt to their feet, all right. And then they ran toward the exits. Bubba, I've got a new joke for you. Oh, sure, Robert. Go ahead. Well, there's these two cannibals having dinner, and the first cannibal says, My, your, your wife sure does make a good stew. And the second cannibal goes, Yes, I think I'm going to miss her. That's, uh, that's a good one there, Robert. Uh, i tell you what, I'm going to use that joke next time I'm over at Hyenas. So, Arthur... Uh, what do you think? If John had him laughing, he should go back up on stage. Now, wait a minute. Let me tell you what really happened. All right, be sure to give our comedians a big hand, because that's all they get paid for here at Open Mic Night here at Hyenas. This is the night when all you amateur comedians can get up here and try your hand at stand-up comedy. Hey, speaking of stand-up comedy, don't forget our defensive driving classes here on Saturday, taught by professional comedians. It's a fun way to get that ticket taken off your driving record. Hey, and speaking of tickets, don't forget about our drink specials. Just ask your waitress and take care of your waitress. She's working hard for you tonight. All right, if you guys are ready for your next comedian, let me hear you say hell yeah hell yeah hell yeah all right coming to the stage right now is a close personal friend of mine this is his first time up here at hyenas he's a veteran of the old ed sullivan show he's small he's homeless he's made out of wood let's welcome one-eyed john hey gail hey gail hey hey thanks Oh, oh, boy. I tell you what, it sure is great to be here. Uh, I just flew in from L.A. and, boy, are my arms tired. <coughs> Thank you. I tell you what, marriage really stinks, too. Uh, uh, I tell you what, uh, take my wife, please. <coughs> Sit down. Thank you. I tell you what, uh, my wife, boy, I tell you what, she doesn't give me any respect. I got into a taxi cab the other day and said, hey, take me to a place that'll show a guy a good time. He took me to my house. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> Talk about fat. Boy, is my wife fat. Damn it, I said, boy, is my wife fat. How fat, How fat is, is she? she? She's so fat that when she sits around the house, she sits around the house. Go home. Thank you. And I did. Boy, is my wife ugly. Damn it, I said, boy, is my wife ugly. How, How ugly, ugly is she? Is she? <laughs> She's so ugly that when she walks into a room, the mice jump on chairs. Get off the stage. You stink. Go home. What? Get off the stage. You stink. Hey, why don't you come up here and kiss my big rosy... Uh, and that includes your mother. 
What did you say about my mother? I said your mother's a Retired detachment of Marines. I won't take that up a marionette. Marionette! You die! Ah! Oh. Ah! I have never been so embarrassed in my life. So I had a bad night. John, they've been doing open mic night for a couple of years now, and this is the first time that they ever had to call the police. They just overreacted. No, you did. Hell, John, every comedian gets hecklers, but you didn't have to go and cripple the poor guy. Ha! I bet he won't ever do that again. And neither will you. The answer is no, I will never take you back to hyenas. Damn!